What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here bringing you this week's Patch Notes Recap. We got a lot of stuff in this week's uh, Patch Notes that came out, um, so we're going to jump into it and try and get through this. I don't want this video to be too, too long for some Patch Notes, so I'll try and get through it as quickly as we can. Uh, biggest thing we got going on, obviously the Awakening for Lawn is coming out. We knew that was coming out already. They had tweeted about it ahead of time, uh, so everybody was pretty aware that was on the way. So everybody's going to get the Lawn Awakening going, check out all the new skills. That'll be pretty interesting to see. Um, they've added some uh, some bonus items for leveling the lawn as well. Past the uh, it was up to 55 previously. Um, they've got seals like they've done for all the other awakened classes. So these are going to drop randomly um, throughout the event, and you, obviously you can see what you can collect them there. Your best value, I'm pretty sure, is going to be your scroll. Um, getting that 1.4, 1.5 mil, those are sell for. Um, the relic shards are usually around like 800k or so. And then you, we all know Blackstones and how those work. Um, so the level up rewards, they're really, really nice getting to 56. It doesn't even, you don't necessarily have to complete the Awakening quest, just getting to 56. Three item collection increased scrolls, that's amazing. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth doing that. Even if you haven't even rolled a lawn yet, highly recommend it. The other rewards are also really amazing. But getting those collection increased scrolls are really, really, really nice. Um, some memory fragments at 57 along with some hards and sharps. And then the level 58, a um, bunch of money for you. Some more Lauren family gift boxes, which is going to turn into a bunch more money. And a little 20 advice of Alks. Not too bad. Um, obviously, 58 takes quite a bit of work to do. But you will also see we've got, uh, we've got some new bonus XP to help you get there. So what they're doing is we're getting our normal bonus XP like we do on the weekends. They're also adding a weekday. They're calling it fever time. Um, they're adding weekday bonus XP as well. So during these hours from 16 to 23, that's Pacific time, uh, for those seven hours during the weekdays, you're going to get the 50% bonus combat and 10% skill XP. So that's half of what the weekend bonus XP is. And then on the weekend, we're going to get our normal ones um, going from the same time as usual, but they're also increasing harp and shard drop rate for gathering. And you're going to have ancient relic crystal increased during fishing uh, over the weekend as well. So a little bit of bonus. This is actually running um, from what they say, this fever time they're calling it. It doesn't have an end time. It's until future announcement. So I think they just kind of want to see how, how the players like it. So see what the feedback on it is and then decide when to end it from there i really hope this isn't an instance where they're considering like keeping it that way weekday bonus xp just feels weird to me it's no longer bonus xp if you just make it the normal so hopefully that's not the route that they're going um i guess we'll find out um as it goes on and see what kind of uh what kind of changes they want to make um all the server stays the same and there you can see the increased drop rate as well so uh next section on there skim through those um we got the night vendor is going to be discounted 50 percent off energy cost his the price of his items isn't decreased just the energy cost alone so it's gonna be 25 energy uh instead of 50 energy that's going until june 20th um continuing events the previous one to 55 level up for lawn challenges the roses and moon are still there uh, all the attendance rewards still in that are still running um content updates we you know awakening is up they updated the timetables for World boss spawns, so make sure to check that out if you're farming bosses or trying to get in on it. Uh, they changed, adjusted a few of the times there. Uh, so a new route to get into Midai Castle. Uh, class changes. These were different skills that some classes have for like summoning, like uh, Witch, Wizard, summon up their little guys and, and whatnot. So any of the summoning skills, they adjusted what the summon does. I guess higher AP for the summon classes for it. Um, DP was uh, DP for some of the higher farming places, Histriachman and Gyphenrasia. Um, we're increasing recent balance patches, and since that made their defense higher, they wanted to give the summon pets, if you will, summon creatures, I guess they're calling it, um, some increased AP to help balance that out. So uh, it makes sense if you have a summon class, uh, or a class that has a summon, I should say. Um, all the way across the board, uh, I'm not going to read each single one of these because it's, it's pretty standard across the board. What they've done with CC skills is uh, removed um, the effects, like they said they were going to, where it should only apply during the first hit except for skills where it has two hits. So for instance, uh, Seed of Destruction on Dark Knight, uh, if you're familiar with that skill, something like where you know it has two attacks that it does when you flow into it. And the second one doesn't hit the same AOE area depending on where you where you go. So what they've done is allowed that second hit to also apply the CC effect uh, since you could be potentially be hitting a separate group of people or mobs or whatever. So they've done, done that across the board. Any of the like two hit areas, they're applying the CC from and then they've removed CC from being applied after the first hit uh, on all the other skills. There's all the way across the board and there was one damage change on a skill here for Mewa. So you can see that a little bit of damage increase. Uh, for that and then everything else was all these CC changes 
and then some graphical fix, uh, fixes across the board. So make sure you check out yours. And then with Lawn, they just list, hey, we you have Awakening. You can press C to switch to your main and Awakening. Like, yeah, no kidding. We know what it means when you're Awakened. Um, some item changes. The Elian's tier now recovers XP, even with if, if you had negative karma completely, evidently. Um, they, uh, they did jump, adjust some of the item drop tables, and it, they show it below. We'll jump into that in a little bit. Um, added some drops into Mansion Force. You can get Goblin Chief Summon Scroll. You can get the Origin Stone at Miramuk Ruins now. Um, some crop seeds have been changed. And the oh, they adjusted the Sweet Honey Wine for uh, apparently it wasn't coming correctly. I hadn't tried it myself. When you change trade in your Fairy Wings to get Sweet Honey Wine, uh, they adjusted how that works as well. We got some Pearl Shop updates. I've got that open. We'll jump over to that after we get through these. Um, and they changed. Uh, Oh, it looks like reduce the number of palm plywood and elder tree plywood for alchemy stone protection if you're creating those. So here's where they adjusted some item drops. This was a little weird to read at first, so I'm going to explain uh, how I understood this. Um, basically what's happened is they're calling certain main items that are droppable uh, and they've increased it. So whatever these main items are, they're increased in some areas for if they're the main item so what i mean by that any valencia region and then it says in some areas because it, we'll point out a few that it's not increased both the scroll and yona's fragments have been increased in drop rate if we don't know how much we'll see i'm sure tons of people will guess at it but uh the, these overall in Valencia have been increased and then you can see in this table they're calling these are the main droppable items for whatever area they're talking about and then the characteristics are some of these things can no are not going to drop in that area at least that's how I, I'm understanding this so for instance if you look whatever uh, at Desert Naga Temple the Asula Weekend nobody cares about that and the Blacks and a Blackstone these are considered the main droppable items in Nagas um, and then also the characteristics of this it says black magic crystal cannot be acquired so apparently that 3.6 mil magic crystal can no longer be acquired in desert naga temple however it's also in the valencia area so i believe that means your scrolls and your Jonas fragments are going to be increased in here as well since it's covered in any valencia um then you can see uh Tidium valley that's uh fogan's scrolls has been increased and it's noted here that scrolls are increased so i have to assume that means in Tidium valley or Tidium valley uh it being in Valencia and also marked in that area that the scrolls increased, it has an even higher chance for scroll drop. I believe that's what it means. And the trade off there is no more black magic crystal in that area either. Um, I'm not entirely sure why they did that. Those, those areas are definitely for like pure XP and leveling. So maybe they wanted to focus more on that and just kind of throw a bunch of scrolls at you. Um, and then there you have places like Kadri Ruins, for instance. Uh, all of those green weapons, you get all the Rosar weapons that drop there are considered main items, so I guess that's increased. They already drop pretty frequently, so that's interesting. And Blackstone's also already dropped pretty frequently, in my opinion, in Kadri. But I guess that's the main droppable items that were increased there. And then again, it's in Valencia, so I have to assume that the scrolls and Yona fragments were increased. So anyways, check out the uh, check out that. It was kind of interesting seeing the Dream Horse Awakening items uh, apparently all drop higher rates again we don't know what in com sylvia but check out the table if you see an area you like to farm at uh, maybe have some adjusted things in, and like i said a couple areas there it's interesting to note they don't, they're not going to drop those black magic crystals uh, anymore as well quests obviously we got lawn quest um in uh for that some interface changes fix some window sizes in the gilding you check out those resolved issues they did out of, out of these it's it's a bunch of fixes and stuff they did uh fix what we had mentioned uh last week um, on the recap, the uh, issue they were having with the cron stones, uh, incorrect number of cron stones being consumed when, um, when trying to enhance certain tet level items. So they did fix that, and then they said they have a known issue um, for team battle and final battle can be entered within 30 minutes of the world boss spawn time. Issue will be fixed next maintenance. I didn't even realize that was a thing, but then again, I haven't been farming bosses much in the last week. Uh, so we got fever time. I'll get the pearl shop up. Okay, pearl shop, not a whole lot of crazy stuff changing. Essentially, it's just added all the lawn stuff. So you have the full outfit here. Of course, it's it's discounted slightly when she, they first come out, um, and then they added the ghillies uh, in it as well, and I guess some earrings for you. So that's all that's in the pearl shop for the update there. Um, we covered the leveling for it, and that's gonna be it. That covers everything for it. So everybody, get out there, get your lawn awakened, get those free gifts running. Um, not much for PvP changes, just the CC adjustments for it. So I don't think there's gonna be a heavy heavy uh, alteration as far as PvP goes. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my lawn awakened and um, and checking out the full set that it's got. Um, I may or may not do a video on I really have been on the fence. I didn't care for the pre-awaken too much, uh, which I talked about in a previous video, so I'm not like crazy about it. I am going to do the awakening. I'll push it up to 58 this weekend just to get the rewards. Uh, if I'm not too lazy, it's in at 55 anyways. And then I'll uh, let, you, let you guys know what I think, especially the 
the awakened portion and i do want to get it to 58 so at least you have access to enough skills to kind of get a good feel for what it's like uh in pvp and and then it's farm speed and what kind of money uh it can make in there but that's gonna be it for this video uh be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to catch some more videos coming out uh everyone take care we'll see you next time